Hey everybody, Jonathan, Las Vegas Collectibles. Uh, it's been a little while. If anybody out there has a newborn, you know how that is. So I wanted to put out a quick video about something I've been working on for a while and it's starting to come true. So I have the camera set up. I'm gonna show you a couple things. I just sold a card on eBay and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show what I'm doing, what I'm up to. Um, with any luck, you know, it's on a whole lot more hard work. I'll be able to transition part of my free time into not only just selling collectibles, but trying to build these relationships and sell this new product that I'm, I'm offering that I, you know, that I'm packaging up and, and getting out there, working with the manufacturer, getting this thing done. So let me know what you think about this, how crazy I am. <laughs> And I'd love to hear your comments. Um, haven't even presented my product yet to somebody, uh, which I'm going to be doing tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, start marketing it around, right? All right, so here, take a look at what I'm working on. All right, so this is my new product. First, let me get the actual card I just... Uh, sold so you can see what i'm doing it was a johnny bench God, what a legend johnny bench out of the tops chrome platinum anniversary set look at that look at that photo God, he's awesome i mean look at the helmet when i get this thing back in zoom look at look at look at how far we've come right look at this dude's helmet back then <laughs> johnny bench See that helmet? Didn't even go down. Look, ain't that crazy? Last year he played was 1983. I was born in 84. He stopped playing before I even existed. That's crazy to think about. All right, so what I have here, this is a standard penny sleeve, you'll see. Now, if you don't know anything about penny sleeves, uh, they are made from polypropylene, so they're a poly bag. If you've ever heard of poly bags before, so it's polypropylene. It's a plastic. It has almost zero UV protection. It's got as much UV protection as a as a plastic grocery bag, right? And and they'll say like protects from UV light. Yeah, technically everything does, but it doesn't actually protect anything. Uh, also, it doesn't prevent any gases coming in or anything. It's and if you've ever experienced one of these. I mean, it's it's just like putting your valuables in a garbage bag. Like it, it, it does nothing. It's so bendy and it's easy to stretch and like get your fingernail on there. And the card's ruined. If you drop a card in this, it's absolutely ruined. Um, so what I've been working on is this. It's the arc. I call it the archival sleeve. Unfortunately, the way this text and print did, the V and the A is blurred together. So this is my first attempt at the label. Actually, that's a lie. This is the third attempt. And there's still a couple corrections. Like, you can't read what it says right there. There's a text box there. And so I'm going to be working with a local printer, uh, you know, to get this get this done right. But So it'll be a package of 10 of these. Now, this is the actual sleeve. So this is Mylar. I don't know if you can tell just by me holding it. But this is, you can even hear it probably, versus the penny sleeve, right? Like, so this is four mil thick. You can even see the way it captures the light. It's, so this is not polypropylene. This is polypropylene. This is, this is actually a polyester film, polyester film, right? So you're not even, you're not even in the same ballpark. This is a whole nother freaking chemistry set over here going on. All right, so this is super thick. 99% of UV rays are blocked out of this thing. Uh, you know, it's extremely durable and it's archival. So it's made, this poly, this polyester film, uh, it's considered a mylar, right? So if you, if you know what mylar, it's a very specific subset of mylar called mylar D. This is not polypropylene. This is not a polybag. This is not just your standard plastic, right? So museums actually use this and another thing is, let me grab it real quick, I'll show you. If you see inside of slabs, I don't know if you can tell, but 
each card, if you've never opened this lab, if you've never held this lab before, the card itself is not just loose in plastic. In, in the good companies like CSG, <laughs> it's not just loose in plastic. There's actually a bag that's vacuum sealed. Now that bag... And this plastic is UV protected. It's archival materials. So this offers the same kind of protection. Now, it's not a hard case, but it's that same kind of protection. And I can't even destroy this like I can with the penny sleeve. So it's it's thicker. It's more durable. It resists, like, fingernail scratches. And, like, you push really hard, obviously, you know. Um, but, yeah, so this is the archival sleeve. And it's harder to open. It is. I'm not going to say it's not. It absolutely is. Once you get it open, just like any other penny sleeve, just hold it open. It's not a big deal. But once you get the card in there, this thing is protected for over 100 years, right? So uh, because it's, a my, it's mylar and a polyester film, and protects so much from the UV rays and is durable. It is not, again, it is not a plastic. This thing can actually protect your valuables, your collectibles for over a hundred years. Now you can see it is not easy to get it through. There you go. There you go. But it's nice and smooth. There's no friction, no friction, like doing any damage. It's, it's extremely smooth. So once you get it moving and get it in there, yes, it is not a penny sleeve. So it takes a little bit more of concentration, a little bit more effort with this. Now, look at that. Look at how clean and clear that is. Here you go. I'll, I'll pull out another penny sleeve card so you can see the difference. Just in the way it even captures the light, everything. Now, because this product is not a penny sleeve, again, not a penny sleeve, not, not a poly bag, not a piece of plastic. This is mylar. So it does not fit in top loaders, right? And, and it doesn't fit in semi-rigid. Now this, this itself is your semi-rigid. This itself is your top loader. What happens with the top loader? If you, if you're never, if you've never handled the top loader, the card will slip down when you when you throw it. Now, I just sold this. If this is damaged, I'll, I'll give 10 times the reimbursement. Look at that. Just dropped it straight down. Card never moved. See that? See that? Right, let me get this out of the way. See where the card is? In the bag? In the in the bag in the uh, in the sleeve? See that gap? Watch. Straight down. Doesn't move. This thing is in here. Now it is not in here to stay. You can simply grab it and pull it out. Um, oh shoot, I'll just show you. So you, sl you slide it out enough where you can pinch the bottom and you pull it out. Yes, if you have a chrome finish, it will leave a little bit of fingerprint. If you have a microfiber, you just wipe it loose, wipe it clean. Or you can wear, you can wear your archival gloves. Now this card is not very expensive, so I'm not, I'm not going to wear all the archival gloves. If I get a little bit of a fingerprint on there, I'm sure the individual who bought this has a microfiber and can wipe it down. So that is my new product. Now this is one item, right? You don't need a penny sleeve and a top loader, a penny sleeve and a semi-rigid or a penny sleeve, a semi-rigid and a top loader. You need one item. So that prevents you from paying extra shipping, extra taxes and all those other items. You don't have to store a bunch of stuff. It's a one item and you're done for every possible need that you have. Now, my biggest reason for having this is because I got sick and tired of buying cards off of dealers and off of shops and they would arrive in the mail all jacked up because they slide around in the penny sleeve, they'll slide around on the top loader and get dinged. They'll put a piece of tape right here to hold the top loader. And then what does it do? The card gets stuck to the stupid tape because they didn't close it right. Now you can do the same thing with this. If for whatever reason you still are cautious about this, it's not gonna slide out, right? It's not gonna slide out to the point where like, if there's a, a bump here, it dings it. It doesn't even move, but you could still do the tape thing on here. This is thick. This is thicker 
than most semi rigids. Look at this. And not only that, look at this. Look, at, you're storing this. Look at this semi rigid. It's huge. This does a better job because, again, this is, this is polypropylene. This is not mylar. This is not UV protected. This is not a archival material used by museums. This is. So this one thing provides everything you need to pr protect and prevent any damage against your, your collectibles. It takes up less space than the semi-rigids and the top loaders. And it's one item, right? So you don't have to buy three different things. You have one item. That's it. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm still going to have penny sleeves because I still have cards that are just bulk and I, I don't really care that much about. However, any card that I want to put on a website for listing, if I want to put on Instagram, if I want to send in to CGC for grading or CSG for grading, which I've already sent in a batch with these, so they're being graded right now. This is the sleeve for everything other than stuff that I just don't give a crap about, right? Like if it's just mass bulk and I don't even think it's worth, you know, a dollar, it's like, you know, 50 cent cards and below goes in the penny sleeve. 51 cents and above, it's going in the mylar. Look at that. It's fine. I could drop it on the corner. It doesn't ding the corner, right? It's freaking amazing. This thing's amazing. So this is my new product. I worked with the manufacturer to get. Here it is. I'm going to sell it in uh, packs of 10. So you get 10 packs. It's the archival sleeve. Uh, I just created this label. Like I said, there's a couple little things I'm going to work with a printer on. I'm going to be selling this thing for roughly $2. So that's 20 cents a sleeve. Um, if you buy in bulk, right? Like if you buy at least, uh, I haven't worked out all the math, but if you buy, I'm going to say 10, right? So if you buy 10 packs of 10, that's a hundred. I'll actually drop the price down uh, to a dollar 50. And if you buy 15 or more, no, no, probably 20 or more, I'll get it all the way down to 10 cents. Um, that's my goal. Those, those are my goal numbers, but we'll see what ends up happening. So there it is. There's my new product. Uh, that's what I've been working on for a little while. It has not been easy to get this down to a price point and an actual workable product for our needs in this hobby. And it doesn't allow, like I don't have a product yet for like memorabilia cards or patch cards, you know, those big thick cards. So, you know, still working on that. But here we go. This is the beginning. I also have the same setup for comic books. So that's pretty exciting. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. That's what I'm up to. Uh, let me know down below what you think about that. Uh, I mean, it is, it's expensive compared to a penny sleeve, right? Where a penny sleeve, you can literally find somebody willing to sell you a piece of plastic for a penny. You can buy them for a penny. It can't happen. Um, so this is 20 times that price wise, but it's one product. You don't need the semi rigids. You don't need the top loaders and it's protects your collectibles for way longer than you'll ever be alive. So yeah, let me know what you think. Take care.